Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and today we'll be talking about Dollywood, which is an amusement park located in Pigeon Forge in northern Tennessee, and is home to some awesome roller coasters. What's interesting about this park is that they're sort of half and half when it comes to the quality, because they have a lot of theming, but then they also have a bunch of thrill rides and roller coasters. So unlike a Cedar Fair or Six Flags Park, there is a ton of theming, but unlike a Disney Park, they have a lot of roller coasters. So this park's location is pretty interesting because it's nestled in some mountains off by Pigeon Forge, and because of that, the parking lot is super far from the entrance to where there are actually three types of parking you can pay for. Usually it's just two, you know, the standard and the special, which is closer to the entrance. However, I recommend purchasing this, the standard parking because you can take a free tram, which runs every five minutes all the way to the entrance. The front entrance of this park is very beautiful. It's super colorful and pleasant. The thir first themed area you'll walk around is this Dolly Parton themed area before getting to your Hot Rod themed area, which is where, of course, you'll find your antique cars attraction and Lightning Rod. I love Lightning Rod's location because it's the closest coaster to the front entrance. If you keep going straight past Lightning Rod, you can turn right into your mining and fire fighter themed area, or you can turn left into a lumberjack themed spot where, of course, you'll find Thunderhead and their drop tower. Dollywood's layout is pretty awkward because Lightning Rod is the only roller coaster anywhere near the entrance, with all of the other roller coasters being in the back, so it's pretty weird. The coasters feel very clumped and some parts feel kind of unbalanced. The parts of the park that don't have that many rides are very nice, with tons of markets, shops, places to eat, great landscaping, and theming. There's plenty of shade and places to sit. It's just a nice place to be around. Now my main issue with this park is the roller coasters. Lightning Rod is their only like elite roller coaster, and while it's a fantastic ride, nothing else they have is amazing. I feel like one more thrilling coaster and this would be the perfect park. Food-wise, this park is honestly the best. I've never eaten at any amusement park with better food, and that's including Disney and Universal Studios. I ate at the new for 2018 buffet, and then for dessert, I ate at a place that served homemade cinnamon bread, which was really good. Both meals were amazing, with great employees and operations. Speaking of operations, every coaster ran a little bit more than one train, and then every ride there had super swift operations. Because of their amazing operations, I managed to catch a little under 20 rides in a lightning rod, and that's on your average day. So all in all, Dollywood is fantastic. The only reason I would want to go back would be to ride lightning rod again, or simply if they added another amazing coaster. But my one visit there was amazing, and I think everyone should have this park on their bucket list. Thanks for watching, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed, and if you want more videos like these, be sure to subscribe. My name is Eric, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye guys.